you know. I think before I end the stream, though, I think we can at least, like, hop out here and see if we can figure out where our Pokemon prize is. Because I feel bummed up, like, I... If I can get a Shadow Pokemon without stealing it away, that'd be pretty cool. I... I mean, I am definitely looking forward to my brand new awesome Pokemon that I have no idea what it is, and I did not say anything about stealing those sorts of Pokemon. I am just a clueless bystander that won the Coliseum tournament, and daily do just let me walk right on into wherever you're handing out those Shadow Pokemon. Don't mind me, while well, I definitely don't just take them all for myself and do the exact opposite of what you want to do with them, with them. Yeah, Chaos! Definitely gonna just go out and cause Chaos with our brand new Pokemon prize. Wait, this isn't- Shoot, we've been found out. We've only fought like four train- We've only fought like four organization members. How do they already know about which one- How do we- They already know? Uh, I get. I mean, I guess this place is run by Mirror B and all four of the trainers that we fought so far were people that work directly with this Mirror B, and I guess that's- Issue of stuff. Oh, 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 oh! New Shadow Pokemon time! It's gonna be here, or we're gonna have to let things swap out first. I actually completely forgot that's gonna come up this soon. And our new Shadow Pokemon is a hip. No! I'm conflicted. It's technically, like. Technically, it's an XD, but a very late game Shadow Pokemon. So this could be fun to run out of Calcium, but I... I don't like Hypno. Hypno's creepy, like it's dex entries. That freaking move that I believe is a Latias move. You're just not a good omen for everything yet to come. A tickling Metapod. Shoot. Now I want to use this Hypno because he has a legendary signature move. But I don't want to use a Hypno because it's freaking Hypno. Ugh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, of course your fourth move is Charge. Um. Well, we never really taunt and I get the feeling you're going to go down this turn anyways. Um. Surely this won't knock it out at the very least. And we can like start crippling it down at the very least. Or you can just go into that hyperstate railway. Oof. Alright. Now this is the perfect opportunity to bring in our ace in the hole, our shadow Pokemon Snagger. It'd be cool if you had sleep power like a natural Butterfree. And then get off that freaking move that's gonna lower my speed before I can even like start setting up. Alright. Minimize. Step one, minimize a couple times. Step two, Thunder Punch until I get a paralyzation. Step three, profit. Is the art of our cotton punching butterfree. I don't even recall if I got the taunt off, but it definitely doesn't matter now. Alright. Let's see if I made a mistake getting rid of the thing that I definitely knew was safe in comparison to what they could possibly be bringing out next. Do I want to keep gambling? Also, it's no fun if you, like, knock me out before I can even start my setup strategy. I have a Super Potion Butterfree. Oh hey, a Helping Hander! Funny enough, like, I don't see this move that often in the Calcium Story Mold at the very least. There's like one tr gimmick trainer in a side mold that we'll come across later. Of course, it's Helping Hand Luster Plunge combo. That still gets through my evasion somehow. Yeah, you're gonna be a problem. 
you, you seem harmless enough, but we can't keep having the helping hands be a thing. Alright. Can I at least get a paralyzation before fainting? Because I get the feeling that's where this is going to go. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to appreciate my luck and never take for granted the fact when you get a... When you have a move that has a chance of getting a paralyzation and you get it on the first try. Never take that for granted. Also, like, I can't wait for us to get a Pokemon with Thunder Wave. Because I just remembered that that's, like, perfect accuracy in this game. They didn't nerf it yet. That would That's definitely going to be fun to play around with. I just wish I had, like, a better way to cripple it down. I can at least, like, get the speed to not be an issue. And we can at least turn this into a one-on-one -on -one fight. Well, good thing I don't have had held items yet. We haven't, I, that just made me realize, we haven't had any opportunities to really get too many items out on the field. Like, we're coming across our first quote-unquote dungeon soon. First opportunity to actually, like, find that sort of stuff. But not quite yet. I swear, you, you've hit, I've raised my evasion twice. This may not, I'm convinced that minimize doesn't sharply raise evasion now for sure. But that was double evasion, and like, every single move hit. And that's... Getting to getting annoying. All right, who do I have, and maybe the best to cripple this thing down? Because I, <laughs> of course, you get drill pen. Of course, you get drill pack. Don't you know Vigoroth, known for his very sharp beak? Um, don't they have something to resist l luster purge? As we kind of seen beat up the Zilly Squaw, so that might be an option for whittling. Where are your moose again? It's been a while since I've used to be honest. Yeah, let's get Rhyhorn out here. I don't think... Oh yeah, beat up is super effective, so that might be a problem. Now, I don't remember if beat up is based on... Oh... There's another move I never play around with. I think roleplay swaps abilities. It makes the target and copies the special ability. And it looks like you have looks like all these Pokemon have normal abilities. I don't know if we really have any Pokemon out here that can we can play around with that now. But I can see some fun to have with that in the future. Um for science I'm gonna use beat up on Tentacruel. Just to see if it counts Pokemon that are knocked out in Knockout, or if it counts Pokemon that aren't knocked out, because if it just counts Total Party, then that might be overkill. But if it counts just only non-fated party members, this could actually be a decent crippling tool for Tentacruel. So you gotta pay attention. It definitely looks like it only affects that looks like it didn't go through all six Pokemon. Also, like, if so weak, I'm kind of not sure if it would actually do super effective damage against that. Or, like, it would knock it out even with super effective damage. Alright, let's... <sighs> like, I remember Coliseum being limited on held items. I think, like, Held items that boost items, I recall only really getting from certain shadow Pokemon. So I'm not sure how the randomizer handles that. Yeah, that went for. I think it might have gone for the whole party and still do nothing. Also, am I. Yeah, I mean, I did not officially commit it to a 100% run yet. But I feel like we're kind of reaching towards a 100% run. Or, when I say 100%, I mean getting all the Shadow Pokemon. The only downside is that would require committing myself to post-game, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready for that yet. But for at least now, I'm going to try to get every Shadow Pokemon I can. Even though I have zero intention to use this Hypno. Alright. A one... A two, three... I forgot, like, maybe it's just my imagination, but Great Ball's being so OP in this game, I probably could've just thrown Great Ball at full health and caught it. Yeah, 
Yeah, you give me something a little harder to work with. Maybe like for a Shadow Legendary Pokemon I need. That's definitely not going to backfire on you. Hold on, you're the one that brought him in here. And they're just going to go, no you, no you, no you, no you. And... All clear. So plot drop of just how the Shadow Pokemon come into play. And here's the big drop. Papa's Pokemon was taken away by Mirabi as a prisoner. So yeah, Duke King was doing Dilly Squat because his own Pokemon is being held ransom by Mirabi. Long story short. So it is up to us to like get the pulse back. I mean, we we're kind of on our way to just beat Mirabi anyways. So sure. Seeing that's about a good point to mark off the stream because. Like I said, just calling it a dungeon is a bit loose of the term, but at least if we're looking for a traditional RPGs to compare it by, this is the first dungeon in the game, so we'll be here for a while. But I want to like go over this because this is these Eon files are another way we really like learn get the lore behind Shadow Pokemon, as well as like a few gameplay mechanics. Shadow Pokemon, perhaps because of their overwhelming power may behave abnormally at time, ignoring orders, even turning on their own trainers. This is Hyper Mode. Kinda showcased a lot of this already, but this is where you like learned about it. They call it a major drawback, but like calling him this is the door the closed door of his heart was not even more further research is urgently needed. Uh, hello, you. We'll worry about you later. A little bit of infancy with that elevator lady in my circle of the community. Uh, start another time. I don't want, like I said, I don't want to start this dungeon rail. Don't want to start this now because we're about reaching two hours on the stream total already. So I feel pretty confident about the amount of time we spent doing the stream. There is kind of one thing I want to try out, though, before actually ending it off. Like, we haven't really done too much with Panic. I'm kind of, like, curious... If only curious to see if we can actually enter the Panic Coliseum now. And if so, I could, like, show rather than tell the whole thing I was talking about with the Coliseum earlier on. Um, very tempted not to, though, because I forget just how long you gotta walk from one end to the other, and it doesn't seem like a big space, but when the running speed doesn't seem that bad, but when you're actually trying to get from one end to the place to the other, it kind of feels like it drags out a little bit more for some reason. Also, like, it, while I'm, like, out here, because we're going to a dungeon with a lot of Shadow Pokemon and Snake, I, I think it might as well, like, stock up on Pokeballs now. Just in case. Maybe see if they got some new stock, like I said, because it's the only place we get Pokeballs in the game. And I know you may be going, Jackie K, why are you even bothering with getting Pokeballs when you're just gonna use the Pokeball glitch? Uh, someday, someday I'll feel confident enough with my supply that I won't have to rely on it. Also, as you kind of saw with like a couple Shadow Pokemon we snake, I have to do the ball with the first Pokemon. Because you gotta swap with the second Pokemon, and there's definitely, with this randomizer bumping up the difficulty, there's definitely situations I'd rather not waste Pokemon's turn. Like, it'd be much more ideal for me to actually use. Them. Be a lot more. There's definitely situations it would be a lot more ideal for me to just throw the Pokeball with the second Pokemon. Because it's much more important for the first Pokemon to get its attack off. So it's a little backup for that. They'll not buy too many. Just in case. But enough to like get that feel. Also, I just realized we never showed off the pre gym. I'm not sure if we can show it off now. I think I'm gonna actually end it off with that before I forget. I'm, we're not actually gonna do any more battles. But I figure I could at least like get something that's actually pretty cool, yet easy to overlook. Oh, cool. We can open it right away. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the Pokemon we have now, and 
<clears throat> hey Steph, you think that using Shadow Pokemon here won't be a good idea? I think you should use only ordinary Pokemon for this challenge. I mean, of course, really would have the stipulations on using Shadow Poke. Have the, like, Shadow Pokemon related plot McGuffins. I don't totally get it. But this thing. Also, you can go in here. At least I recall you can go in here early. It's going to be a long time before we can, like, purify any Pokemon. And I'm not sure how confident I am going through there with just two Pokemon. It's tempting. Maybe we'll do it someday. But I don't really want to engage in any more battles in the stream anyways. If I recall, there's something neat that we can get from this pre-gym. I'm actually kind of a little worried knowing what it is, if it, how the game wants to handle it. So... This is where we do the battle for the pre-gym, and I'm sure we'll do it already. But I don't really want to battle. No! 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 Oh no! I just walked into a trap. Or not. Think of this. Yeah, because I don't mind battling you all eventually, just not tonight. One of you actually gets... Well, unfortunately you're all going to be waiting a long time. Oh no, I can't even get this thing until I do the battle! Oh my, what the heck did I get myself? Maybe like walking out here and walking back in will reset things. Cool. Because they apparently are like me and have the memory of a goldfish. Was he a trainer too? Are you listening to my classes? You hear? I have something you might like. Can I see your P star DA? Oh, you have one, don't. I guess like it helps to explain the strategy memo. This is kind of like your Pokedex, except without all the lore of a Pokedex. But if we go into our P star DA now, I'm a little scared this might crash the game because randomizer. We have to... actually I never showcased that we have a snake list. So oh, it actually. Updates with the Shadow Pokemon, even though like it's completely different from Vanilla Coliseum. Cool. Strat email. This will be relevant later. And the strategy memo. <laughs> I was worried. It stuttered for a second. <laughs> Apparently, it's enough about order. Can I like alternate that to like? Order... Can't do a Pokedex number, but I mean it's a Pokedex, so I guess that makes sense. But can't even, like, organize it by families? I guess it's not that as great. But again, like... Yeah, I guess it's worth knowing. Again, Coliseum has its own little Pokedex. You can rotate this around with the C stick. Considering it's like probably the only chance I get to use a C stick, it's good to test to make sure that works. Actually, I don't. Th I think this is the most I've ever played around with the strategy me memo myself. So it's kind of cool to like do this for science at the very least. And back out. And yeah, like Pokedex is like gives you an indication of how big a Pokemon is compared to the trainer, allegedly. I don't think there's like any like spectacular Pokemon. Like, I can like see how big Suicune is. I think we've like, as you can see, it's not just Pokemon we've caused, it's Pokemon we've seen as well. So, where's Groudon? And Ho Ho, just to prove that I've actually, that one of those trainers does have the Ho Ho. I'm not sure if Wes is just a big boy. Or Groudon's just tiny in this game, but I do not recall Groudon being that tiny. I recall Groudon being significantly bigger than the Pokemon. And just a fun little thing that I figured we could play around with it before we end off the episode. I say episode, but I mean stream too. So as I go to save, let me see who's online still and who we can raid. <laughs> 